As a model and actress, I learned from the best. to Fumi Fashion and Beauty. Yay! Happy Wednesday. <laughs> Ever since I started working out, I have all of this energy. I'm so sorry. I can't help myself. Okay, okay, okay. Moving forward. Today is a special for you because I have been wearing long hair, well, I had for the past two episodes and you guys loved it. Fumi, I love your weave. Fumi, I love your hair. Fumi, this is the best I have seen you. Well, my love muffins, you know what? I shall keep the suspense no longer because Ta-da! It is, my loves, a 20-inch gorgeous wig loops. Yes, it is. So, let me tell you. As you very well know, I love to change my hair ever so often. And I was looking for something different at my usual beauty supply store up the street for me. Love her. I always go to her. And she always finds something for me, you know, that I like. I never know what I want, but when I see it, I know it. And I saw this wig and I thought, you know what? This right here saves me about four hours of sitting down and getting weave sewn into my hair. And of course, because I'm working out, I don't like the sweat, I don't like the smell, I don't like the stillness. Pada bing, bada boos. Now, having said that, I'm also quirky about wigs that come all the way and doesn't look natural on your hairline. It just doesn't look natural to me. And because of that, I'm not crazy about closures and um, what do they call those things again? The net thing that you have to cut a clip. It just doesn't look natural to me. And I want to try to look as authentic as possible, even though I'm looking, I am 100% fake with the hair. <laughs> I know. <clears throat> this is a tutorial on how I wear this particular wig. And then at the end of it, I have a little surprise for you guys. Uh -huh. So anyway, I bought the wig. I brought it home and I said for me, you know what, you are going to make it work. You're going to make it work. How? I do not know. I plopped it on my head and I still didn't like that kind of falsies effect that it had. Somewhere in my creative mind, I decided to cut the spine out. And when I say the spine, to cut the whole middle out. And this is what I did. Can you see it? I cut it in a kind of oval shape, but I left this bit at the bottom here so that I could hold it. And I said to myself, Fumi, well, this was Fumski telling Fumi, you know what we're gonna do, girl? We are going to bring out our own natural hair in the middle of this and part it naturally. And that way, it should look much more fabulous. And that is what I did. Now, I decided not to put anything in my hair today and just undo it so that you guys can see. So what I do now is that I take my own hair with my beautiful African comb and I just shape out the little bit that's supposed to be up in there, like so. Bada bing, bada boos. So I have this. Mm -mm 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 -mm. How are you guys? How's everything? It does not have to be precise. Please don't think that it has to be precise. It does not have to be precise at all. And don't make it too thick either. There you go. That's, that's more realistic, isn't it, Fumski? Voila. Okay. Now, I just twist it 
and just keep it with an elastic band. See? Then I tie this back. I'm so sorry. I tie this back. I know a lot of you, I'm just doing like a quickie, but what I usually do is that like I'll braid it back and then when I put in the wig, I'll put pins. But I'm just going to put it in a band just for you to have like a rough idea. I look crazy. Jeez. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Fumi, come on. Put that in. Jala. See? But you can just braid it. Now, you take the wig loops. And in the back it's got straps, like most wigs do, as you very well know. And then you plop it on your head. And there you have it. Can you see? <laughs> oh, God. And there you have it. Isn't it gorgeous? I love this wig. So you just brush it, coax it, make sure it's all looking fabulous. And this wig is synthetic. It's a synthetic wig and it is 20 inches long and it is very thick and I love it. I love it, I love it because it's very, very realistic to how I would have my weave. Very realistic. So as you can see, I've got it placed, yes? Now, let me tell you another little, little itty bitty trick. When I take this one off, that's the band with the natural hair. Mm -mm -mm. I have this, yeah? Okay, I move the wig just a touch backwards and then I take my comb, my African comb, and I take a little hair from the front. Just a little bit, just a little bit. I take my brush, after placing it where I want it, and I make sure that, make sure the wig is aligned right down by your nose, yes? Straight line to your nose, plus the little natural hair in front. Now, do you see what I'm doing? Do you see it? So I've got my own hair here, and then I've got the wig space right there. Then I've got all of this hair, and then I'm going to part it in the middle. So you should have something like this. Now, once I do that, then you start to brush it. I dampen my brush with a little bit of water so that I can flatten the hair, my hair, and then you can just brush it all the way in the back on the side, and that's it. And then you take your hair, watch now, this is the fun part, and you comb it over this slit. And there you have it. As simple as ABC. And then just look. Isn't that fab? And that's it. Easy peasy. So, the good news is that this, this wig is now officially the Fumi wig. Hashtag Fumi wig. How can you find out about this wig? How can you purchase your wig? Let me tell you everything. So I went back to my beauty supplier and my beauty supplier and I have collaborated to have this beautiful Fumi wig for you guys. Originally, it was £39.99. It is now £29.99. So give or take, it was 40 and now it is 30 You have to go to my Instagram. Just look at my name, Fumi De Saluvold. And there I will put in, I will add in Charlie's because Charlie's is the beauty supply you have to go over to charlie's and hashtag the fumi wig fumi wig the fumi wig either one is fine their store uh, website is on top for you just to click on and right there they'll be able to help you so welcome to the gorgeous adorable fumi wig isn't it fabulous? And guys, you can do this with your other wigs as well. Love it. It's a quickie today, I know, but you guys loved it. You guys loved this wig so very much that I had to share, you know. And I said, you know what, Fums, let them in on it. And when I let my beauty supply know, they said, Fumi, we love you so very much that we're going to name this the Fumi wig. 
So, of course, without any further ado, let's get to the quote of the week. And also, skip over to my health and fitness. I was thinking that maybe I'll do the video on Friday for the health and fitness, but I've decided that I'll keep it on Wednesday. So, every week you will have either the sister to sister or you will have health and fitness. So, just to get health and fitness right into schedule, we're going to have yet another episode after this show. You're going to click over to health and fitness. Yes, my loves? Mwah. Before I go, let me give you the quote of the week. Don't change so people can like you. Be yourself and the right people will love the real you. It's as simple as that. It's too hard trying to be somebody else that you're not. Change your wigs, wear different outfits, wear different colored makeup, but always be yourself. Because ultimately, whatever facade that you are keeping up does not last. Be yourself. And even if it's two friends that you have, it's two solid good friends that love the real you. Until next week, darlings. Goodbye. Ula, you want to say goodbye this week? Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> and don't forget to get the Fumi wig.